So guys, we need to talk about Crypto.com. So it was 3 a.m. this morning in London where there was this whole FUD fest going on about Crypto.com on Crypto Twitter that forced CEO of Crypto.com, Chris Marzalek, to come out with an Ask Me Anything or AMA. Now, while a lot of the questions were answered in the AMA, which served to reassure investors that assets were held one-to-one -one with Crypto.com, this entire drama episode split people into two camps. One camp that believed that Crypto.com was going to be the next FTX because of issues with delayed withdrawals, as well as the other camp, which was shilling the CRO to no end, saying how it will go to over a dollar, and basically looking to convince people to buy in so that they can possibly pump their own bags. But today we need to talk about something else that no one is talking about, and that is whether or not DeFi is safe on Kronos if anything were to happen to Crypto.com. Now, we did a video previously on this. I will link it down in the description below. However, today, this has become more important to take notice of than ever. Yesterday, during the ungodly hours of 3 a.m., I realized that this whole FUD narrative was going on. And then I realized one thing. The value of tokens on Kronos chain, such as USDC, Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, you name it are all backed by crypto.com, meaning that the Kronos chain is only solvent if crypto.com is. And when I tried to diversify funds across different chains, I came across quite a concerning issue, that there is very limited liquidity coming from decentralized bridges. All in all, there are two main bridges carrying most of the liquidity that will allow you to bridge your assets in a decentralized way out of Kronos. First is Connect, and as you can see here, they don't even have enough liquidity on a bridge for me to bridge 100 USDC Polygon. The same can be said for the BNB chain, not enough bridge liquidity, as well as other chains such as Arbitrum, Phantom, and all your other favorite chains that could be more interconnected through things like Stargate, and therefore allow you to either redeem your assets directly, say on the Ethereum mainnet, or through a surviving exchange. Now, the worrying thing about this is the lack of exit liquidity. So we've seen here on Connects, there is insufficient liquidity, and we go over to multi-chain, and it is unfortunately a similar story. You have 1.3 million BUSD on the BNB chain mainnet, which sounds okay until you realize that there isn't all that much liquidity for you to trade your BUSD, even if you were to use VVS Finance, about 14 million. So this is a far cry from the time of Kronos Summer. This amount of liquidity is severely down on what we saw earlier in this year. So just thought that it would be irresponsible not to release a video detailing this risk, even though Crypto.com as of now is still functioning perfectly fine. The final way out of Kronos was, of course, the Atom Bridge. However, when I tried doing this, we kept getting a transaction failed message suggesting that liquidity might not be present on this bridge as well. So this is a short video that highlights how dependent the Kronos DeFi ecosystem is on the Crypto.com centralized exchange moment. Now, this is, of course, not to say that you should not keep assets on Kronos at all, but it would be a good idea to diversify your holdings across various different chains because each of these chains also has this similar problem. For example, BNB chain has the counterparty risk of Binance, and as you mentioned in a previous video on what you should do after FTX, there is also the counterparty risk of Circle. So, all in all, I hope this video has been informative and useful. If you liked it, do consider leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. It really helps out this channel a lot. With that being said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next